Hey guys, Miss Eddie Blue here, back with another video for you guys. So today is like my first um, kind of review of a uh, craft product. So I am just getting into resin making. I know resin has been around for a long, long time, but I have an eight-year-old son. I know you'd never be able to tell, right? But, um, <laughs> um, anyway, so I basically stopped crafting when he was like a toddler and I didn't start again until about three years ago when I started making a wedding scrapbook. And, um, anyway, I'm slowly getting back into more and more things, um, lots of beading lately. But, um, I also totally love kawaii and I totally love anything, um, cute and deco and girly and so um, I wanted to start making my own um, deco den cell phones and there's an awesome dollar store by me that um, sells these for like a dollar I swear to god this was a dollar and it's actually an awesome dollar store it's Dollar Tree so you guys have probably all heard of it but I had never been to Dollar Tree before so anyway before I keep blabbing let me jump right in before you change the channel so I found this awesome mold and I found it at a Michaels in the Mod Podge section and I've actually left some of them in here just to show you guys how it really how easily it releases um, this stuff cures in 12 hours and this is an awesome mold. It's not a shiny mold. Um, so as you can see, the backs of the pieces are like super, super, super duper shiny. And then as you can see, the front ones aren't so shiny, but they are still gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Like that is a gorgeous cabochon. And so anyway, so apparently this, I couldn't believe it when I found this mold because most molds are like so big and um, you know, you could only use them for like a massive cabochon, like you couldn't put like a whole bunch of those on a deco den phone. Um, and they're better off for like jewelry and stuff like that. So I was so amazed when I found this. So then I watched a video on YouTube and I found out that, um, this set was actually made, it's called the Trinket. Um, it's called the Trinkets Pack and it is, I did find it in the Mod Podge section. So it is made by Plaid. And you can see there all the designs on it. You can also see them right here. And apparently, um, when I watched the video, it turns out that um, they actually made this mold specifically for Deco Den. So I was really, really impressed with that. And you can see how some of my pieces turned out. And I am brand, brand new at resin. So this one here got a little bit screwy because you're supposed to, if you want to mix two colors, you're supposed to have them both already mixed. And I didn't mix my mint until afterwards. So unfortunately, by the time my mint was mixed up, the purple had already dripped in. But like you can see how perfect it worked at the top. So if I had had them both mixed at the same time, like that would be gorgeous. And now look at this ice cream cone and this deer. Like, aren't they absolutely gorgeous? So these ones right here, these three, um, what I used to color that resin was I used this Recollections. So it is embossing powder, but it is also opaque sparkle. So as you can see, I bought a um, pink one as well. And if you read the pink one, it actually doesn't even tell you on it that it is embossing powder. So when I first picked these up, I thought they were just sparkles. And then it wasn't until I read the side that it says um, apply over slow drying ink and heat to set acid free. And then I was like, okay, this is obviously embossing powder. But um, so you can just see, I don't know if you can see by looking at them over uh, the camera, through the camera, but um, the the mint one has like a whole bunch more of the actual embossing powder in it than the pink one. And so as you can see, it all fell to the front. And what I did was when I scooped it, I made sure not to get too many of the big glitters that you see in it. And that's actually pretty easy to do. Um, just because I saw a video that said um, you shouldn't use big glitters when doing resin, um, when pouring your resin, that you should add them in after. Um, but look guys, there's big glitters in this and it turned out gorgeous. 
So, but like I said, I did make sure not to put too many in. So here's what the backs look like. And I'm telling you guys, these are rock, rock hard. So as you can see, most of the glitter, um, not just the glitter, but the um, embossing powder went to the front. And so it made it like a, such a cute, cute minty color. So then, um, so these ones over here, I tinted with a Martha Stewart pearl and it is a multi-surface acrylic paint and all I did was three little tiny dabs um I think I did the star first and then um it was too it wasn't opaque enough it, it was too clear I thought so then I added in a little bit more paint and then I ended up with this color here and it is just so gorgeous I don't know if you guys can see the detail there you go on the comb and the mirror like they are just so gorgeous and the bunny now i see that with a toothpick it would be really really easy to put a different color in for the eyes and the nose and like even the bow if you really wanted to it could drip out on the sides though but the nose and the eyes would definitely be awesome so anyway these ones here i use the exact same color as i did for this only i added in silver glitter and black glitter so for these ones, I was thinking of like, um, you know, a pastel goth theme. And so what I had actually been shown in videos was to wait half an hour and then put your glitter on the back. But as you can see, I can see all the glitter on the back, but then you can't see the black glitter on the front. It just like makes it look darker. So, um... I wasn't happy with that. So then the next ones, I just mixed the black glitter right in and then there was the effect I came out with. And obviously you can put some rhinestones um, in the eyes here and that'll be totally bling. And for this flower, one of my friends pointed out when I showed her the picture that um, you could even fit a rhinestone right in the mold. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy they are to get out. Here is the purple. The purple I colored with this um, lavender acrylic paint hang on let me zoom out so the purple i colored with this lavender um acrylic paint and this is just dollar store paint and then i also added in some of this um crystal ultra fine glitter and this is actually an old container um and i don't know if they still sell it as the same containers because michael seems to have changed a whole bunch of their stuff around like this glitter used to be sold um as, um, did I pick up the wrong one? No, this glitter, this silver glitter, oh, here it is. This silver glitter used to be sold as, oh God, as halo glitter. And it was like my favorite glitter and I could not find it. I could not find it in the right section. Stampendous, I could not find it. And then I ended up finding it over in the fashion glitter section. And now it says tulip fashion glitter on it. But as you can see, these are the exact same glitters. And there was some other, um, I could not find this one anywhere. And this is like my favorite glitter. So if you know where to find this, please let me know. So anyway, the pink ones I colored with this nail um, glitter powder. And this is a very inexpensive alternative to Perlex. I know it doesn't give the exact same finish. And the only reason you're seeing black on here is because when I sprinkled some of the glitter onto the backs of the other ones, it got on here. And then I was like, oh God, and I wasn't gonna go picking at it and ruining my piece. So it's just a chocolate chip cookie now. And same thing, it happened with the rainbow. But like you can see, they are very, um, very very see-through in the light when you use this and now I'm gonna get this in the other colors as well so anyway let's pop these molds out right guys so I'm just gonna show you how easy I'm gonna do this with one hand just look oh my gosh these molds are amazing they just pop right out so here is the purple bow I will put it over here oh it is just perfect and they are not sticky at all guys and they're rock hard and I swear to God, my first set came out rock hard in less than 12 hours. It was amazing. So here's the comb. Oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. I just love it. We will do the mirror next. The mirror is a little bit harder just because it's got that like 
piece in the middle so it would be easier if I had two hands. Hopefully I don't break it. Um, got it. And oh my gosh, it is so cute, you guys. It is just adorable. Like, I can't believe that I don't have to order these little cabochons anymore and pay so much for them. Like, now I can just make them myself. This is great. So next we will do the donut. Oh my gosh, it is just, just beautiful. And this one was also the Martha Stewart, um, I mean the Recollections um, Opaque Glitter, the embossing powder. It is just so, so beautiful. So we will do the lollipop next. And this is actually the first lollipop that I have made. My gosh, I love it. You guys, I'm so happy I can make my own custom cabochons. I am so, so super psyched about this. I'm gonna be like resining every day. Oh my gosh, look at the chocolate bar. And so again, these purple ones were done with um, acrylic paint and um, glitter. And by the way, I know that some videos, some people say that you can't use acrylic paint for resin or it's bad and it won't cure. That is totally not true. The only difference is, remember how I told you that some of um, my pieces cured in less than 12 hours? Well, when I took out this purple star 12 hours later, as you can see, it was not, um, oh, now it's hard. It was not hard yet. So all you have to do is if you use um, acrylic paint in your resin, you just have to wait a little bit longer. You just have to be a little bit more patient and it works totally fine. There is absolutely no need to spend money on these ugly colors of um resin tint there is just absolutely no need i have no idea how much they cost but i know they cost a lot more than acrylic paint and acrylic paint as you can see works beautiful these pieces are totally they are rock hard guys so i'm gonna take the cherries out i'm sure they're gonna be gorgeous just like the pink cherries so like i said the ones with the holes in the middle are just a tad um harder to take out beautiful absolutely gorgeous so here is the um strawberry here is the rainbow so this was about $16 for this mold. Oh my gosh, look at the rainbow, guys. Gorgeous. I'm so happy. Can't wait to get to crafting today. Here is the heart. So there's the heart beside the other heart. I'll put it on the mint um, paper just so you can see it better. These are all my little friends, my little friends, my little friends. They also guide me so I know where not to... Um, so I know where to stay in my video. And now, last but not least, we have the um, cookie. And it is so cute. It's got like kind of like a double layer where the um, bite is. So you can totally see the bite. So that is so cute. So here's all my purple pieces. Here is all my pink pieces. I got my mint pieces over here, two different shades of mint. And here is the crown. And so, like I said, guys, I found this in the Mod Podge mile at, uh, uh, mile, aisle at Michael's. And this is the Mod Podge Mod Melts. So don't get scared. You do not have to use these with Mod Melts. You can use these with resin, guys. They are really, really super, super tiny, um, but not too tiny. Um, not small enough for nail art, but perfect for deco den. Actually, that could probably be used for nail art. But anyway, I'm so glad I, to see you guys again. I hope you liked my video, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye, guys.